rhubarb. My buddy Bill donated that one. It's a real nice one to me. Mm -hmm. And down here, this side of the garden, more, of course, this is the going down the potato patch. We're stumbling on some red onions. They're rolled over, drying out. They got pretty big. So, so. And more sun choke. This is a late, or later planting of sun choke over here on this side. It's great as a hedge, as an edge crop. Here's the big, the main event here. The compost pile. Why is this the main event? Why is this the main event? I don't know. 70 feet long, probably. It's all the topsoil, all the uh, quack grass composting in. So, view the cows. Now we're headed over here to the other patch. And this first bed is where I'm going to sow my garlic seed. Over here is a late planting of almondines. Another 300 feet nearly of almondines, but planted late. And an empty bed for spinach here. i got to plant some spinach. Squash. Winter squash. Yes, these are happening. Hubbard. Hubbard squash. Some of them are actually kind of large. They're looking good. Um, yeah. Check out these babies. Stores real well. Lasts all winter long. Beautiful color. Good producer. That was a Scott Laramore that gave me that seed. So, let's see here. To recap, this is the this is what I've done this year. One bed here, it's 90 feet by 30 or 40, I think. This one here is 50 by 125. And the compost pile, yeah. Why the compost is so important is that that's the food for the beds and not next year, but the year after, we'll go back in the field and make these fields rich again.